So it's that time of the year when we get a brand new Android release. And this year it came a bit quicker as compared to the last version. And spoiler alert, it does feel much more refined too. So now we have the Android 13 with a bunch of new features and mostly improvements on the top of Android 12. As you know, Android 12 was a major update with a brand new UI and this whole material new theming which made it look quite cool and different. And so this new update had to be an improvement over that instead of a complete design change. So I tried this Android 13 on my Pixel 4a and here are my impressions with it on the same. For which this is sadly the last major update. So before we start, you know the drill right? Make sure to tap on that subscribe button and in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. First up, to get this update on your Pixel device, you can just check in system updates in settings, as it is rolling out right now. Or you can sideload the OTA from Android website and link to which I'll drop in the description area. So it will slowly come to other devices from other brands as well. And stay tuned for that. Now starting right from the lock screen, and apart from the new music tile here, the unlocking animation has also changed a little. So this is what it looks like now. Coming back to the home screen, and you won't see any major UI changes in the launcher, apart from the bigger and bolder gesture navbar. Now quickly jumping into the wallpaper and style. Now quickly jumping into the wallpaper and style options. And here we have even more predefined colors to choose from for the system wide theming. And we have around 16 options in basic colors, which is much more than in Android 12. And this gives you even more control over how your device looks like. Also, I checked the benchmark scores after this update just to keep a track of how things are. And this Pixel 4a has been quite consistent with every single update. And the device used to score 528 in single core and 1506 in the multi core score. And with this Android 13 update, it now scores 529 in single core and 1508 in the multi core score, which is similar to Android 12. So hats off to Google for keeping things as is. Coming back to the changes and the next minor one is in the notification bar. And here the settings icon has moved to the bottom right corner with the power button for better reachability. And also you get this active apps tab which basically tells you about the applications running in background. So you can stop them and save some battery juice. We also have a new tile in quick settings to scan any QR code. And you can scan any code and open web pages or do whatever it is that you like. And I think this option is really handy. There is also a revamped music notification tile with its squiggly line and bigger album art that looks quite inspired from nature, if you know what I mean. And jokes apart, it looks quite good and different. I see what you did there Google. Overall, it looks better than before and it offers more control too and not just a new UI. Tapping on the output, we can see some refinements here as well. And it also looks cleaner and more in line with the system UI. Another great feature that has been added with Android 13 is the new clipboard, which is very cool. So when you copy a text, first of all this new tile comes in the bottom left corner with the text and you can now just tap on it and edit the text that you copied, which is cool and will be very helpful. Similarly when you copy paste an image, you will be taken to the markup page, where you can just doodle or whatever it is that you want to do. And both of these features are really helpful. Plus, this Android 13 will clear the clipboard after one hour to prevent any app from reading your sensitive data. Oh, and before I forget, there is even a new Easter egg with this Android 13, and it can now be filled with emojis instead of colors like it was with Android 12. Apart from this, third party file managers can no longer access Android and OBB folders now. We also have a new photo picker that looks a bit refined, and applications will have to use this which will come to all Android 12 and 11 devices as well. Now if I talk about the performance and smoothness in general, I am quite happy with this update as it feels much more refined than Android 12 and things just flow from one place to another like the app opening and closing animations feel a lot snappier and the complete device in general feels quite responsive so far which is a big deal for first major version and seems like Android 13 is finally the one that focuses on basics and ticks all the boxes quite well. Also there are a lot of other changes under the hood, like the apps will now have to ask your permission before sending you the notifications, which is actually very helpful. And there are tons of new changes under the hood, 
which makes this Android update even more interesting and refined than ever. Though I wish they made the themed icons mandatory for all applications, like we have with the custom rooms. Rest, I'll keep an eye on the battery drain and screen on time in general and will let you guys know about the same. With this new update, the Google camera is also the latest one, with a few tweaks here and there, and the shutter speed is still pretty fast for a 2 year old phone. Also I took some random samples and here they are just to give you guys an idea about the image quality. And as of now, yes I do recommend this update to most users who wish to try these refinements for good. So yes, this was a short video on Android 13 for the Pixel 4a and other Pixel devices. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure you press that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.